By subscribing today, you get the Fisherman Magazine every week, the chance to enter the Dream Boat Challenge, and unlock the great features of the new Fisherman website. I'm going to show you how to do a double blackfish hook rig using Gamagatsu 4 hooks. Basically you want to start with about an 18 inch piece of monofilament line and give you two blackfish hooks. These are Gamagatsu 4 like I said already. <clears throat> Place one part of the line through the eye, pull a few inches right there and spin and do a loop around. I don't know if you could sort that, I'll do, I'll do it again. Pull out, spin, you want to pinch it with your right hand. Then what I do is I'll take two fingers and this piece right here you're going to start wrapping around the hook. So with two fingers I'll do that, I'll do this. And once you wrap that hook around you got to twist it. So you're kind of like doing a little weave. So there you go, so that'll be two. Now the reason why I use a finger is I just twist it with my fingers. It's easy for me, I'm used to it. So like that, like that. And if you notice every time I go through I'm twisting, making like a weave. So you do that about seven times. So you have it looped like that. I'll hold it like this usually, and then I'll just grab the whole knot like so. You wet it, and you pull it through. Now what you want to do is still hold it. You want to get the tag in and tighten that up a little. Slide it up to your guide. Good to keep a needle nose handy. Grab that side, that side, and just snug it up. And you can also hold the hook right here and slide it up. Now what you want to do is basically trim that tag end. Okay, so that's your first knot it's done. Now go to the other side and you do the exact same thing but on the other side now. So you go through the eye, pull a little bit, loop it around, pinch it, give yourself some line and you're doing this with one line too so both hooks can be tied on one piece of monofilament. So now take that, same thing like we did before, you can see I'm starting to twist, wrap it, twist it, wrap it, twist it, wrap it, twist it, wrap it. Now watch the twist. You can see, you can actually see the whole twist going in. And again, you do that, you know, six or seven times. Hold that, pinch the whole thing. Again, wet. Slide it. Pull this down. Pull up the, your eye right there. Now you want to snug everything down. And of course, trim your tag end. Now that that's done, you have something that looks like this. Your two hooks and a piece of monofilament. But now you got to make a loop in it so you can put it on your leader. So what I like to do is I'll take it like this and keep the thing and I'll form a little drop a loop in there. Like that. Once you form that drop a loop, just spin it on itself. One, two, three, four, five. Now with that drop loop is open, you're going to take this piece, put it through, like so. So it looks something like that. Yet that piece came through the loop. Now what I'll do is I'll grab it with my teeth, which you can't see, and I'll hold it with my teeth to get it like that, and we do just start pulling the hooks together, like so. You also want to wet it. Every knot you want to moisten to reduce the friction. Put the two hooks together like so, and pull. And now you have your little loop. And that's basically it. That's how you make your double blackfish hook. This one's a little sloppy. I'm really not using leader material. I'm just using some Andy monofilament I had. But that's it. You can also make it a little neater so if they want it to be more even. But that was just a quick thing to show you how it's done. Take that. Hook that to your main line like that. Your sinker sits down here. And that's how it sits. Then you take your two hooks. Put them into the crab. And now you have two crab, two hooks into the one crab, also known as a snafu rig, a lot of people call it. Double hook rig, tandem rig, whatever it may be. This rig works and it catches fish.